What's up, world? It's your man, Mr. Sam 44, man. You know me, seen in 59 countries. Hey, check this out. I just want to send a shout out to all my people out there that took responsibility to let some of these haters out here that's messing with your boy with these racial comments. I just wanted to let y'all know I really appreciate what y'all did in making y'all comments to these people and letting them know, hey, Mr. Sandman ain't out here doing nothing to try to hurt nobody. He's just trying to bring consciousness to what is going on out here. Our fire department is not receiving the funds that they need to help the citizens. Their response time is slow. Their, their ex amenities that they need is lacking. The city of Detroit has not provided these things. That's the point that I was trying to make. Now, all these other different views and opinions of racist statements calling me out a monkey and telling me to crawl back in the holes and calling me ignorant and all that stuff, that is untolerated. I don't need that type of viewpoint. I will accept your constructive criticism because I do have critics better than you, okay? I will accept your constructive criticism, but don't come up there with that racist comments. I don't need that monkeyness and I don't need that crawling in a hole, calling me ar arrogant and asshole and all that. Because first of all, you don't know me. Secondly of all, you definitely wouldn't say it in my face if you were in front of me. So let's not go there, okay? Let's keep it civil, people, all right? Now, I got some video on there. The city of Detroit, right now, we're in a real, real tough situation. We've got a lot of crazy crimes going on around here. Hey, citizens, we got to work together. We got to keep it together. Because, really, we know we in a bind, but you need to get with your neighbors. We need to go back to these old school modes. We need to get with our neighbors. We need to help one another and stop hating on one another because another person is getting over a little bit better than you. Maybe that person might be able to help you. You need to ask somebody, all right? Let's cut out all this violence. And you all young cats out there, let me tell you all something. You out there doing this to these old senior citizens because you weak punks. Where was that with your grandmama and somebody came up there and did that to your grandmama or your grandfather? Y'all gonna catch y'all. But I'm gonna tell you like this. If them old people don't get you, it's gonna be cats like me that's gonna get you. Because y'all are foul. You don't disrespect our elderly. These people are the ones that carved the pavement to wait for us to do what we doing right now. And you out here disrespecting them? Man, you better watch that. All y'all young cats out there, you better watch yourself, man. Because we are not tolerating you disrespecting our senior citizens. Hell, if it wasn't for them, your ass wouldn't be here. And we're not going to tolerate you disrespecting them and turning them the way they are. Now don't make us come down on it because I swear to God, Mr. Sam 44 man will put the word out. Because I got an auntie out here. That's a senior citizen. She's all, yes, fully guarded, watched. And I wish something would happen to her. I'm not playing with this. We got to start respecting our women. We got to start respecting our children. And we got to start respecting our own damn selves. Because if we continue to do what we're doing right now, we're going to continue to head on the path that we headed on now. And we on the collision course. Because we pushing 200 miles an hour and we ain't got nothing but a quarter mile before we jump off a cliff. Get it together, people. This is your man, Mr. Sam 44 Man. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. We got to turn ourselves around, Detroit. I know we down, but we ain't out. Get your children in order. Get your families in order. Let's make this city come back up like it's supposed to. And stop acting weak. Because you know what? There's somebody around the corner that's ready to move into our houses. There's some people around the corner that's ready to build more, and it ain't going to include us. So you better wake up, people. You either get with the program or get out the program. This is Mr. Sam 44 Man, y'all. You know I keep it real, and I keep it raw. And I'm sorry, but uh, hey, one more thing before I go. Mr. 6034 Ron. Thank you for making your comment to Mr. Zach Walters with his racist statements. I'm glad that you had some knowledge and the, the, the initiative to go out there and say something to people like that. Because all I do is I pull my camera out and I give you all types of views on what's going on. We are a city in crisis. 
and we need some help, y'all. And all I need y'all to do is stand behind Mr. Sam 44, man, because I will expose it. If it's raw, if it's not real, and if it's not helping these cities and these citizens in this city, I'm not going to sit back and tell you no lie. It's going out there. So be prepared. Happy holidays from Mr. Sam 44, man. Peace.